Republican Congressman Mike Turner on uh, the president and these big wins because he's got the momentum behind him, doesn't he, with Congress? What do you think? Well, the Supreme Court, you know, their tortuous decision made what I call a, a too big to fail decision. I mean, they basically said that if the uh, if we rule that uh, they can't implement Obamacare in the manner what they're doing, it will fail, and so we have to save it. Um, it, it really is uh, not how we would want the Supreme Court uh, to interpret laws. They should be reading the laws and then telling us um, you know, what authority government has, not rewriting but the authority. But you know, authority, they didn't do that. Uh, and and I, I suspect, words. Congressman, as you probably do as well, reading in between the lines of the majority decision here, that it was based as much on, oh, the grief and the agit associated with just disrupting this whole thing, uh, essentially saying it's too far gone, the train has long left the station, too late to call it back. And that worries me in just that regard, that they more or less gave the green light, keep going, keep going, because it just isn't worth the fuss or sweat to, 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 to stop it. Yeah, the too big to fail argument. Right, it's so exactly. big we have, we have to save it. And that, that certainly is not what, what we should be seeing in how laws are construed and interpreted at the Supreme Court. Uh, nonetheless, uh, this certainly is a win for the president. And now we have to move forward on the issue that, you know, Obamacare is broken. It is a system that does not work. It's putting pressure on, on our, our hospitals. It's certainly on the entire health care system. We need to look and find ways that we can go in and amend this law. It certainly will be a major debate in, in the uh, presidential election because this law needs reformed. We need to make certain that we have a health care system that's restored and maintains quality care for our, our uh, patients. Congressman, thank you very, very much. The congressman and some of his colleagues face an uphill fight on this matter because the Supreme Court, not, not once but twice, has ruled in favor of key components of the largest piece of uh, domestic legislation we've seen in American history. And it is still around. And it is still. And the president is still very, very happy.